facing off against these Endemion players. It's not a deck I'm used to challenging, so I don't know how they work. All I know is that they rely on spell counters. So if you can stop spells from being activated, that's one way of countering them. But then again, for my deck, I am reliant on spells. Especially the ones which are intrinsic to the strategy for Chronomaly Monsters. In my starting hand, I've got the two Crystal Bones. I've got the Magdala Globe. I've got a Torrential Tribute and a Ballista Squad. My opponent seems to be running a super heavy Samurai deck. I know generally how they work because they don't like having a spell or trap cards in their graveyard. In fact, that it can't work if you do have a spell and trap card in your graveyard. The Etchlet monsters, they have quite a few of them. They're mostly they're synchro monsters, but those are banned at the moment with this event. So they've summoned their big their armed samurai well their big samurai Ben K. I know what this monster is it can attack in defense mode and its defense points basically are its attack points when it's when it's in defense mode so it's a 3500 attack monster in defense the best way of defeating it is actually to just rip it apart before it gets enough of these equipped cards to it so i'll begin by special summoning my crystal skull my crystal bones i keep getting skull and bones confused because they, they do tend to work with each other, they're both level 3 monsters. To special summon the Magdala Globe, I'll use its effect to tribute itself. And I'll special summon the Chula Guardian in attack mode. I'll normal summon a, another Crystal Bones. I'll set the Belisa Squad, the Jelly Cannon, and end my turn. My opponent tries to use their Soul Piercer and equip it onto the Big Ben K. I, at this point, activate the Ballista Squad to get rid of the Ben K. And since it was trying to be equipped, that card also, the Soul Piercer, goes to the graveyard. He's forced to send a monster in defense mode and I have a feeling it's another one of these pieces because those monsters have great difficulty in being used they have no real attack points or defense points for themselves they're purely designed to support Ben K so with the globe I use its effect to banish one of the crystal bones to the graveyard to return it to my hand. The Magda with Globe then gets summoned and uses its effect to exchange for a separate monster. The monster I choose to summon is the Mud Golem, and the reason is because it's got piercing. If my opponent has a zero defense monster, then it makes it very easy to get over it, and it's essentially direct damage. I had a choice there to use the Jelly Cannon, I decided against it, and I was right. It had 500 defense points.
I've drawn into the Ballista Squad, which I'll set face down. And I'll end the turn. my opponent sets a monster face down before ending their turn. I drew into a second, I think this might be a third copy of the crystal bones. I'm gonna risk summoning it in attack mode. I'll go straight into battle. The Mud Golem is able to do quite a bit of damage. I only had 400 defense points. And with two more attacks, it looks like it's going to be a clear game win for me. Right, so we're going on to the next tool. I wonder what we're going to be facing in this one. As you can see, we've had a bit of a mixed bag. We've had some decent victories. We've had some shallow victories. Uh, we've had a couple of surrenders. And we've had some absolutely crucial defeats. My starting hand here, I've got the Chronomaly Golden Jet. I've got the Tula Guardian. I've got Chronomaly Technology, a skill successor, and the Jelly Cannon. My opponent seems to be running a ritual based deck because that's one of those monsters. They bring out the second ritual monster. They search for the ritual card itself. And they activate it. They'll special summon their Dark Magician. I know what this one does. If you activate any type of effect, it then destroys one of your monsters. So you have to be very careful about how you respond to this monster. With this other ritual incantation monster, this then searches for another ritual monster. They go to the end phase to end their turn. And the card I draw into is the Chronomony Temple. The only card I can summon as a monster is the Golden Jet. I'll attack with the Golden Jet to just get rid of the incantation to avoid it from using any effects. I'll set both the Jelly Cannon and the Skill Successor face down. Well, I'll actually leave the Skill Successor in the hand to end my turn.
my opponent activates their emerge their compulsory evacuation device on my Don Jet. And they're also able to destroy my face down card, which is awful bad timing. Their incantation is able to activate its effect. Searching for one of these chaos ritual spell cards. Special summoning itself and another monster from the deck to the hand, to the uh, to the field. And searching for a blue eyes chaos dragon. They use the incantation spell card. And they'll bring out the blue eyes chaos dragon. I draw into Call of the Haunted. There's very little that I can actually do in this situation. I don't have anything that my opponent will not stop. Beyond things such as maybe Drowning Mirror Force, Storming, storming Mirror Force. And that chalks up another loss for me. So we're going to go back into searching for certain cards, back into the Armed Dragon series. We've got the Armed Dragon level 7 and the Silent Swordsman at level 7. There is a worm monster and the that isn't what I need. I don't need Horus the Black Flame Dragon level 6. I need the Arm Dragons. There's no Arm Dragon support cards in that pile. Yet. Come on, we okay, so we've got a soupe, uh, there's nothing really in there. We've got the white veil that's technically arm dragon support, and we've got the metaphys arm dragon, which is a worm type monster. It's only an arm dragon in name and in appearance. We've got more than enough copies of Arm Dragon level 7. We've also got this Accelerator card. And in terms of what we're missing, yeah, we're still missing the Arm Dragon level 10. We're missing the Pile Dragon. We're missing the Ritual one. We're still missing a couple of copies of some of the others, so that's not useful enough. It's not justified for me to run it yet.
so my opponent is running the adventure series archetype. I've got a Maya machine in my hand, a mud golem, the Magdala globe, the pyramid eye tablet, and a ballista squad. They've got two monsters on the field and two face down cards. I know that that Griffin has the ability to negate a monster effect and actually just send itself back to the deck and then destroy your card. My opponent uses their infinite impermanence, which means I can't use its effect when I summon it. I can only activate my eye tablet to boost its attack points to 2300. And I might as well crash into their monster to at least eliminate it. I'll set the Ballista Squad face down and end the turn. My opponent sends a monster to the Banished Pile to get their spell card. This one has the ability to generate tokens with 2000 attack points. My opponent then activates a couple of equipped spells, which I know is normal for the archetype. They then search out for another one of the monsters and add that to their hand. And they switch their griffin into attack mode and attack with both their monsters. My opponent sends my card back. So I only have my Mud Golem, I can put that into attack mode which is decent because it has 2500 attack points and hopefully I can go straight into the Griffin. I have no choice but to activate the Belisa squad otherwise I'm not going to be able to do anything. To target the griffin. With its effect it then sends itself to the deck to negate that effect.
at least the effects of the equip spells have now been negated since there aren't any adventurer monsters on the field outside of the token. My opponent activates their Call by the Grave, which negates my Magdalen Globe from the graveyard by banishing it. My opponent activates a, another equip spell to it and they activate a monster from the graveyard, banishing it and using the effect of the griffin in their hand to special summon itself. This then turns on all the equip spells that have been activated. They equip another equip spell to the monster. I think this is kind of getting to overkill. I don't know why they just don't attack and finish me off. I mean, there is literally nothing I can do. Okay, so they've sent my pyramid eye tablet to the hand. Did they just want to attack an empty field? So good job, you've managed to succeed. My starting hand has the Mayan Machine, the Magdal Globe, the Chronomaly Technology, the Chronomaly Temple, and the Stonehenge Methods. My opponent is again using, in this time, another Adventurer archetype. I've drawn it into a Ballista squad. And I normal summon the Magdalen Globe, activating its effect. Uh, 
I'll special summon the Moai in attack mode. I'll use the effect of my Chronomony technology. Banishing the Magdala Globe. I know most people say, why would you do that? But I'm very much about trying to get the quick advantage if possible. We've got two cards that I don't really need at the moment. Arguably the level five monster might be just slightly better because it offers some card protection. And I'll set the both of those cards face down. My opponent activates a Twin Twisters, so they discard a card to destroy both my face down cards. I have no choice but to activate my Belista squad, otherwise that gets destroyed. Sending my Moai to the graveyard to get rid of the Griffin. Of course it's not going to work because Griffin will just send itself back to the deck using its own effect. I draw into my Pyramid Eye Tablet. But first I will normal summon the Mayan Machine in attack mode. Activate the Pyramid Eye Tablet. I'll activate the Chronomony Temple. I'll activate the effect of the temple, which allows me to pay 500 life points to tribute over my machine. It will do less life point damage than if I just let it go through with the mine machine. But the reason is because if it does get destroyed, I'm then able to reoccur and bring it back from the graveyard. I'll then banish my skill successor to boost its attack points by 800 and let it attack directly. My opponent can't do anything so they end their turn. So I wonder what deck they're running if they can't do anything. I summon my Magdala 
globe in attack mode and I trigger off its effect. I'll special summon the Chula Guardian in attack mode. With this level of damage, hopefully in the next turn I should defeat my opponent. Unless they can do anything in this turn. My opponent activates a Raigeki, which is going to destroy both my monsters. But they still can't do anything. So I draw into the Maya machine. I'll use the effect of the first monster by paying a thousand life points. I can special summon it in attack mode. And it gets boosted by the eye pyramid. I normal summon the machina. and attack with it directly. We'll go and see if we can unlock a couple more packs here. Let's see if we can actually get the missing Chronomaly monsters. So Droll and Lockbird's in there, we've got Number Wall and we've got most of those gimmick most of those chronomies we already have multiple copies of. We probably have too many copies of to be honest. This indicates a secret rare pack. We might be able to get Nebra Disc in here. That's one of the cards I'm missing. There's a Predator Plant. There is... Nope. That's not what I needed. Didn't need an Abyss Actor. And an Ojama and four Chronomaly monsters. There's one of the Triomids. There's Feast of the Beast level five, which is warrior support. There's a DDD scroll. Nothing that we needed that we need, absolutely need. We're still missing four cards in here. Well, five actually. Yeah, it's, it's the top five cards. So there's the three Xyz monsters. We're missing two main critical other monsters as well. So that's the Crystal Skull and the Nebra Disc.
So in this case, I draw into two crystal bones, a Aztec mask, a Moai, and the skill successor. My opponent is playing Dragon Maids. I hate playing against Dragon Maids. They're so difficult to counter. So my opponent has set a card face down, they've got their monster in tap mode, they have a spell card, a continuous spell card on the field, but I know how the dragon maids work. As soon as you go into battle phase, they swap out for their dragon monster equivalents, which happen to be in the high 2000 attack points. So given the fact that Chronomies outside of the XC's monsters don't usually get there unless you've got Pyramid Eye Tablet, of which I don't have any currently in my hand. And there you go, there's another problem. They've just used an effect veiler. They've just shut down my Crystal Bones effect. I'm effectively in a position where I can't do anything other than summon one additional monster. So I'll do that, I'll just summon the Aztec Mask. Because I'm testing whether they have any of the monsters in their hand, I'll go into the battle phase. Apparently they don't, so that's actually good for me. Sometimes that's the problem with some of these players. They end up putting so many of these hand trap type of cards that they don't actually see the monsters that they need. I'll go to main phase two. I will special summon the Moai in face up defense position and I'll set the Torrential Tribute and the Skull Successor and that will be the end of the turn. That's bad timing. They've activated their Raigeki. That just wipes out all three of my monsters instantly. They then activate their Dragon Maid Hospitality, which lets them special summon a Dragon Maid. I decide immediately to activate the Torrential Tribute, hopefully that means that they can't do anything. My opponent doesn't know really what to do. They then search for one of their trap cards. They set it face down. And set one monster face down.
I've got my mud golem which I just drawn into. That'll start off by special summoning the crystal bones. With its effect, I can bring back one of the Chronomaly monsters. I chose Moai because it has the greatest attack points. I'll attack with the Mud Golem to do piercing battle damage. I'm forced to use the effect of my skill successor because the monster that I have face down is the... It's another hand trap monster. It has 1,800 defense points, so it's just enough for me with skill successor to do a little bit of damage. That was Ash Blossom and Winter Cherries. My opponent now has 2,400 life points, so they're pretty much sitting on whatever happens next turn. They set one more monster and end the turn. I draw into the Magda Global. And I'll summon it in attack mode. I'll use the effect of my skill successor from the graveyard. On my mud golem. Go straight into the battle phase and attack with the mud golem. It's another hand trap, that's the problem, they seem to have just put all the hand traps in the deck and that's just clogged the deck right up. And I direct attack with Moai to defeat the opponent. See if that was a decent Dragon's Made player I would have had no chance against it. But because that player was just playing all the hand traps, that's all they tended to draw into. They thought I was going to be scared off by the fact they summoned their one Dragon Maid. I chose to call their bluff and it actually worked to my advantage. My opponent's been very quick with their turn. They just set a monster and a face down and that would be it. My hand has the Mine Machine. I've got the level 5. I've got the Sphinx which is also level 5. Which is annoying because there's only one monster I can actually summon. I've got the Chronomaly technology, the Pyramid Eye tablet, which is what I'm going to activate next, and the Ballista Squad. I'll attack with the Mine Machine. And it was a, just a hand trap, it was an Ash Blossom and Winter Cherries. I still have no idea what the opponent's playing because that's just a generic hand trap. My opponent ends their turn.
my opponent activates their infinite impermanence, which I'm so confused about. My mine machine isn't using an effect. It can be used as part of the tribute of a machine type monster as the two tributes for it, but it's not doing anything by itself. I decide to tribute over it anyway, and then that enables me to use the Chronomaly technology, hopefully to bring a better card to my hand, because at the moment my hand is just dead. There's nothing I can really work with. There's a level 5 monster that I can't even summon. Okay, typical, as standard, they've got an Ash Blossom in their hand, and they use its effect. I have no choice really but to set the Stonehenge methods and go to the battle phase. And my opponent ends up scooping. They couldn't really deal with what they had. They didn't have anything to sport it. I still never found out what they were playing. This hand is a bit of an issue. Two Moai. You can only summon Moai if you've got another Chronomaly monster on your field. Otherwise, you have to normal summon it and it's a level 5. I have to just set a card face down and end the turn. Reason I'm not setting all three is if my opponent has a Harpy's Feather Duster. I don't intend to lose all my back row in one go. My opponent normal summons a Fortress Warrior and they activate their March of the Monarch. I decide not to do anything, I don't think there's any issues, but here is going to be where we see the problems. As I remember this duel, and I remember what a mistake I made by not getting rid of this card to begin with. So I draw into my Stonehenge methods and that's all I can do. My opponent then tributes over their Fortress Warrior to summon Kuraz, which destroys my face down card. And in exchange, I get to draw an additional card. Now, here's where the strategy goes wrong for me. The card they've got is March of the Monarchs, which protects any of their tribute summoned monsters. All of the Monarchs tend to be tribute summoned because they're all either level 5 or level 6 means unless I beat over them with a 2500 or so monster or above I am very unlikely to beat over them. Now the first thing I do just for my own security is to go into the Magdala globe and use its effect to then 
go and special summon a different monster from my deck. Reason for that is it helps to thin the deck and hopefully I can get something effective enough to either protect me or to actually boost it enough. Stupidly I forgot about the effect of March of the Monarch so I go for Tusper Rocket. Typically when I go for Tusper Rocket its effect is perfectly fine. I get rid of a card and it weakens my opponent's monsters. But in this case that is not the case. Now I can get rid of the card, it still goes to the graveyard, it just won't affect the Kuraz, it'll affect my Tusper Rocket, which will make it a zero attack monster. I'm then in a situation where I can basically only special summon the Moai, I can special summon the monster from the graveyard that I've just pitched there, but none of that is actually going to help me. So with that, I end my turn. And my opponent summons, I think it's called Empress Sem. And destroys both my monsters. I draw into my Aztec Mask and I decide to normal summon the Mud Golem. At least the best I can do is to at least get rid of that Empress Sem before it gets used as part of a tribute summon. So I'm able to do 400 points of damage. I have to set my Stonehenge methods and end the turn because that way even if my monster does get destroyed by card effect or battle I get to summon another Chronomaly monster in defense mode. It has to stay in defense mode permanently but at least it's some form of protection between my opponent's monster's attacks and my life points. My opponent's Decides to kind of tag out their Kuraz by tribute summoning it to use their Zaborg, and that gets to destroy their, my Moai. I then activate my Stonehenge methods because my monster was destroyed. I get to then special summon and I opt for the Magdala Globe. Now whilst it can't use its effects really whilst it's on the field, it's in defense mode, it can't switch, it can't be that useful, it will at least be able to trigger off from the graveyard. I draw into my Chronomaly technology, which is perfect. It's exactly the card I needed. I'll opt to banish one of my Moai because I've got two in the graveyard. I have these two monsters, neither of them that is that good. I end up going with the Crystal Bones, because if it gets special summoned, then I can revive another monster. I use the effect of my Magdala Globe on the field, tributing it. to bring out my Winged Sphinx 
This is probably the first time I actually use Winged Sphinx. It's not one of the monsters I typically will rely on. And I have no choice but to end my turn. I could have special summoned the Aztec Mask. I just didn't see the point in wasting the fodder. My opponent sets a monster and attacks with a Sayborg. I draw into my crystal bones. I set the Aztec mask and I end the turn. My opponent tributes over their monster to summon Chaos. And because it was Samsara Kaiser, it gets to return to its hand. And they will attack directly with both monsters. I was very lucky none of my monsters were dark, otherwise I would have taken an extra thousand points of damage. I have drawn into my third copy of the Crystal Bones, which is irritating. I end up just not summoning anything. I just think, you know what, well, there's no way of me recovering from this. So just give it to my opponent, I end my turn and just let them attack me directly. They choose to do so with Caius. And we seem to have some more gems, so we're going to see if we can get any last minute Chronomaly monsters. Hopefully the Xyz monsters will actually make an appearance. Oh, this is an ultra rare looking one. So hopefully we are going to get something decent. The fire ferret, we've got the Tusper rocket. That, that exceeds monsters good. That's actually one of the Chronomaly monsters. It's the rank three one. It's not the one we wanted. We still need the Machu Mech. We need the other two as well. We need Atlantis. We need the number 36. We also need that other one, the newer Xyz monster that isn't a number. This one, we've got Pump Princess, which is good. 
but relatively everything else we've kind of got all the cards we need we don't need those particular ones and we have one more pack i believe hopefully this can actually appear Oh, so it's a secret rare. This must have something good in it. Okay, so there's a heroic challenger. There's the monolith. No, there is absolutely nothing in that. We've got the extra hero driver. There is none of the chronomy monsters that we need. We're still missing the Xyz monsters. They're so difficult to get. I don't know why they're being such a pain to get. I don't get it. When are you going to show up? When are you going to turn up for me? 